This is a, a, a very, very large grant. In fact, the largest grant that we have ever received and one of the largest grants that the NIH has ever issued. Um, we, we feel that there are several really important outcomes for the Middle Tennessee region, uh, for the city and for the state. One is that this, this really anchors us as one of the leading places in the country for the development of the next era of medicine, which virtually anyone would tell you is this more personalized approach. And it puts us in a very solid leadership position around that. What that brings is the possibility that more people that work in and around this field will move to Nashville and to Vanderbilt. So this will be an economic stimulus for the region where there's a multiplier effect uh, of anywhere from five to ten times the amount of money that's coming from the federal government over time in terms of jobs that are created um, for scientists and technicians and all the different kinds of people that will br be brought here to work on these programs. So, so there's both the, the benefit of the, the cures and, and new drugs that will be developed as a result of the work. That won't just benefit Nashville, that will benefit the whole country and the whole world. But then there's this economic impact to having that work happen right here that's just very good for our region and for our city. What we're really after is trying to get away from kind of cookie cutter sorts of treatments and really develop precise treatments that just work specifically based on who you are, your DNA sequence, your environmental exposures. So think of it this way. There are somewhere around 400 people every day that die in this country from serious adverse drug events, meaning the drug has a bad side effect or it's the wrong drug or something that was well intended, but for some reason that person just doesn't have the response that we would want. And all of that is because we don't know enough about the individual. Everybody needs a, something a little bit different in healthcare. And we try to come out with the blockbuster that will help everyone, but what we really know is that most people need a little bit different therapy than someone else. And acknowledging that has been the important first step, and that's where we've been for about 15 years. And the sequencing of the human genome back in the early 2000s let us begin to understand that. Now we're at a place where we can really use the sequencing of the human genome and take it to the next level really understand the differences between people and when they're going to get a disease or why they might get a disease. And in particular, and I think some of our earliest wins will be, which drugs should you have and which drugs should you not have based on your own DNA sequence? That's where we're starting to make progress and Vanderbilt now has four or five drugs where we test patients to make sure we're either giving you or not giving you that drug. But there are literally hundreds of drugs we use every day such as common antibiotics, common anticoagulants, where if we knew that information, we'd do a much better job taking care of patients. If you're depressed, if you have depression that needs to be treated um, with medications, what we know is the first drug we give you will only work about a third of the time. We're guessing. And we also know that as we're experimenting around with different drugs trying to get you the right one, your risk for suicide goes up many-fold. If we knew which drug to give you the first time, imagine how powerful that is. I think if I were sitting on my couch and I, had, and I was one of three or every three or four Americans who has somebody in their family depressed, that might matter to me. And, and it's not just depression. It's diabetes. It's all the different diseases that we suffer from at least half the time the first medication or the first treatment we take or, or receive that's the best evidence we have doesn't actually work. And that's, that's something we have to change. And I think that we're really in an exciting place to be part of making that change.